Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA predicted phenotype traits and GED match results of a corded wear individual from the Baltics. Uh, his Y DNA is R1AZ282, which is the typical Eastern European subclade, and his mitochondrial DNA is K1B. This is what he is predicted to look like. With Mana Shakoto, he is predicted to have blue eyes, Greek shaped nose, and blonde hair. Uh, for eye shape, uh, his prediction is to have Estonian or Middle Eastern eye shape, so not, not East Asian, not Sub-Saharan African. And for uh, hair shape, he's predicted to have wavy hair at 49%, followed by straight hair at 48%. Uh, YSEC is actually depicting him to be quite dark-skinned with blue eyes and brown hair. And with Snipper Free, he's predicted to have blue eyes, blonde hair and white skin, uh, which is a similar prediction to what my Nashakot is giving for him. He does... He has BH1 and BH2 and BH3, and because of that, he wasn't genotyped for BH4, but we can assume that he does not have BH4. Uh, he's got some variations for light skin, for European light skin in SLC 24A4 and SLC 45A2, but he also has some variations, some variants for darker skin in SLC 45A2. When it comes to rare illnesses, rare traits, he is a carrier for the Finnish major Sala disease mutation. Uh, this is one of those diseases that's pretty much only found in Finnish people and yeah, nobody else aside from Finnish people has it. And um, it's a neurodegenerative disease similar to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. He's got a genus set which predisposes him to going bald by seven times. He's seven times more likely to uh, lose his hair. And he's got, uh, does not does not have European no-go learner mutation uh, at uh, drd 2 pro frenetine pro variation. So not a no-go learner, higher odds of schizophrenia uh, and more dopamine D2 receptors. He's got A2A2 genotype in the TAC1 variation of drd 2 Once again, more dopamine D2 receptors, but this one is typical or normal genotype. And it actually is a good thing to have because uh, normal OCD risk, lower ADHD risk, lower alcohol dependence risk compared to the A1 genotype. Um, he's got lower odds of psychosis according to his genotype in this variation of uh, ACT1. Uh, and this is really cannabis-induced psychosis. So he's got lower odds of cannabis-induced psychosis. And he does have the sociopath gene. If you look at his OXTR genotype, it seems that he is actually homozygous for the sociopath gene in both the major variations of OXTR that have to do with empathy. He does not have uh, derived EDAR, no East Asian facial traits, no East Asian shovel-shaped incisors or epicanthic folds or straight hair. And um, he, he does not have the European lactose persistence mutation. No European lactose persistence mutation, but he might have some other lactose persistence mutations. Like the, there's an Arab one, there's a Chinese one. Uh, he does have a genotype which uh, greatly reduces the risk of myopia. And it's most common in Europeans today. And... Uh, he is not a carrier for any of the hemochromatosis mutations. Very interesting stuff. There's there's only really two that um, Code Gen looks for, and I have one of them, which is pretty interesting. And uh, he's got highest odds of photic sneeze reflex according to his genotype in this vari uh, variation. Very interesting stuff because photic sneeze reflex is a real thing, guys. I, I have it. Like my parents don't even believe that it's a real thing. They're like, oh, you're just you're you're just sneezing because you have a cold. No. It's because of photics. It's because I'm looking at the sun. That's why. Uh, very interesting stuff. You, if you want to research uh, and check whether you have this uh, mutation or not, you can check it in your file. Moving on to polygenic traits. He's got a super high risk score for um, brain aneurysm. He's got a high risk score for coronary heart disease. He's got a super high risk score for gout. Uh, he's got an average risk score for type 2 diabetes. Uh, he's got a above average risk score for Parkinson's disease. Uh, he's got an average uh, risk score for schizophrenia. He's got a high risk score for bipolar disorder. And he's got an average risk score for asthma. This is what he scores with Global 25. He is, as you can see, out of ancient samples, most similar to early corded wear from the Baltic and Czechia and Poland, uh, followed by various other corded wear individuals. And for modern ethnicities, he's most similar to Finnish and Ingrian and Erza and Russian at very high distances. Uh, he's actually getting more of a mixture of Finnish plus various Caucasus and uh, South Central Asian groups. And he's very Yamnea in his ancestry. This is what he scores with MDLPK11. And uh, you can see he's scoring 34% Caucasus hunter-gatherer, plus also 3.5% Iranian Mesolithic, a lot of Caucasus and Iranian-related admixture. And he's closest to Andronovo, followed by 
corded ware. He's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Srubne plus Denisova or Srubne, Srubne plus Neanderthal. That's because of the Sub-Saharan African that he's scoring with this calculator. This is what he scores with MDL PK16 Modern. You can see he's scoring quite a lot of uh, Caucasian and Indian and step. The Indian uh, is representing some of CHG component that was present in the um, corded ware individuals that's not present or present at lesser lesser amount in modern Northern Europeans and he's closest to Irish. He's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Finnish plus Jat or Finnish plus Patan or Finnish plus Burusho. So a mixture of Northeast European plus South Central Asian basically or North Indian. And uh, this is what he scores with MZLPK23B. You can see he's scoring 19% South Central Asian here once again. This is a similar story to the Indian component. This is simply capturing the Caucasus Hunter Gatherer or West Asian admixture that was present in Yamnea and Indo Europeans. And uh, with the Oracle, he is closest to Finnish, followed by actually Pamiri Tajiks, followed by Karelians. So he's closer to pa Pamiri Tajiks than he is to Karelians. Very interesting stuff. Uh, with the Oracle, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Finnish plus Kalash or Karelian plus Kalash or Finnish plus Baloch, so a mixture of roughly three quarters Finnish plus one quarter Kalash or Baloch. This is what he scores with the Rodzins K13. You can see he's mostly scoring Baltic, uh, so he has a lot of drift that's specific to Northeastern Europeans rather than Northwestern Europeans today. Uh, he's more of an ancestor to Northeastern Europeans than he's to Northwestern Europeans, but he does also score some West Asian and South Asian too. He is closest to Ukrainians from Belgorod, followed by Ukrainians from Lviv, uh, Lvov uh, with the Oracle, and he's actually getting morod once again as a mixture of Finnish plus Baloch, or you can actually see Estonian plus the Basaran. The Basarans are a group of people in the south of Dagestan. And this is what he scores with Pandiana LK10. 35% uh, Caucasus Hunter Gatherer, a lot of Caucasus Hunter Gatherer admixture, but actually not a lot of ASI, only 2% ASI. Uh, so it seems to be a very, a very Caucasus shifted individual. And he is closest to Mardvins with the Oracle here. Uh, Mardvins are Finno Ugric people who live in central Russia. Uh, but they're not very Finno Ugric genetically. And he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Lithuanian plus Makrani or Lithuanian plus Brahvi, a mixture of three quarters Lithuanian plus one quarter uh, South Central Asian. This is what he scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. Interesting that he's scoring 4% Sub Saharan African here. He's also, if you've, if you've been paying attention, he's also been scoring a lot of Sub Saharan African on the other calculators. Uh, what is the explanation behind this? Maybe it's because he's an ancient individual and he doesn't have some of the modern European drift. I don't know. Uh, maybe if you have a different ex explanation, you can explain it in the comments. Uh, he is getting modeled as a mixture of Step in Neolithic plus Libyan Jew here with uh, ancient Eurasia K6. And Step in Neolithic represents kind of Hvalinsk or Repin or Priyamne uh, Step inhabitants. And this is what he scores with Kidrosia K3. Uh, with Kidrosia K3, he's mostly West Eurasian, 88% West Eurasian, but he does have some affinities to Sub-Saharan Africans and East Eurasians once again. I think this is because this is simply an ancient individual and he lacks uh, a lot of the modern Northern European or modern European uh, genetic drift. Thanks for watching my video until the end. Uh, you can download this sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. And also, if you enjoy my content, leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye.